Welcome, Irish fans, to the Notre Dame baseball team's annual Meet the Team dinner. The special guest tonight, Aaron Heilman. I don't want to embarrass him, but some of you younger viewers may not know he really is the greatest pitcher in Notre Dame history. Still holds the team records for wins with 43, strikeouts with 425, innings pitched. And I find this even more impressive. He was the 14th player in college baseball history to record 40 wins and 400 strikeouts. And the first Notre Dame baseball player and 14th overall to be a four-time All-American. I imagine it's a while since people have brought up your uh, college accomplishments, but you accomplished a lot here. It, it has been a while. Um, you know, we had a, we had some great teams here the four years that uh, I was fortunate enough to be be at Notre Dame, and um, you know, some might say that uh, they question my ability to get into the university for uh, for sticking around for four years. Uh, most guys don't uh, don't stick around that long, but um, you know, we had a great group of guys and uh, just enjoyed myself so much, and and really wanted to come back and, and play my senior year and and get that experience. You know, that's one experience you only have once in your life, and you can come back and finish your your degree at some other later later point in time. But um, you know, you you can only get that one opportunity to play with your teammates that you've been grinding out with and being in the in the trenches for four years and and it it meant a lot to me to to kind of finish out like that and the year after you left and it had nothing to do with your leaving but <laughs> this program got to the college world series did you sense that there was something special going on during your years here as well I think so. Um, you know, like I said, we had a lot of talent on this team. Um, a lot of guys that, that got drafted and played professionally. Um, several guys that played in the big leagues, and um, you know, it, it seemed like we were one bad hop, one you know, bloop hit away from from making that that leap into the College World Series. And it was great to see, um, you know. The Irish do that the next year, and I got a lot of flack for watching the College World Series in the locker room before the games. You guys are like, "Hey, you should be ready, getting ready to go out there." And I'm like, "Hey, no, sorry, team's on. I got, I got to watch this." So, as you look back on your Notre Dame career, are there any particular moments that stand out to you? Um, I think the biggest was when we were uh, playing in the regional down in Mississippi State, my junior year. Um, it was such an intimidating environment to go into, um, but yet very welcoming. All the fans there were great. They wanted to see great baseball. Um, we had a championship game against Mississippi State that went 15, 16 innings that was just back and forth, nail biter. And, um, you know, I never forget uh, the response that we got as we left the field from their fans and just the respect that, that they had for the game and that they were so, you know, they enjoyed themselves that night. So that was, you know, something that I'll always take with me and, and very fond memory. You are not as dominant in Major League Baseball as you were in college, but to make that transition and to play nine years in the big leagues is quite an accomplishment. How did Notre Dame help prepare you uh, to have that kind of success, success that very few pitchers have? Well, I think one of the big things is uh, Notre Dame taught me how to be a professional, um, how to go about your business, Go, go out there, get your work in, compete at a high level. Um, you know, it, playing in Notre Dame, everyone was out to get you every time. It didn't matter if you were playing um, Bowling Green in the middle of the week or, um, you know, St. John's or Rutgers on the weekends for a conference game. Everybody was throwing their ace out at you every day. So you had to be on top. You had to be prepared. You couldn't let your guard down. So um, that definitely prepares you for uh, the the rigors of, of professional baseball and, and going out there every day, day in, day out, and uh, just competing and grinding it out. Mets, Diamondbacks, and then Cubs your last year, and now you're still in Chicago. So you're really home. You're from Logansport, so you, you kind of went to college in your home area. You're now living uh, close to uh, Notre Dame, and, and you do get back on occasion. So I, I've got to ask your thoughts uh, about the state of the program right now and Coach Aoki. Well, I think uh, Coach Aoki is doing a great job. Um, you know, he's made some improvements. or They're making some improvements to the to facilities here. Um, and I think that's the, the key is always try, trying to strive to do better, to make improvements. Um, you know, he definitely has a vision and a goal in mind, and, and he's working hard to get there. And it's, it's not something that is going to, um, you know, you just flip a coin and it's going to happen overnight. It takes, takes time. And... Um, you know, effort, and they, it's certainly not from a lack of effort on the on the guys' standpoints. Um, you know, I've seen some of the some of the box scores and seen some of the stuff, and it's uh, it's impressive. Guys are going out there, they're fighting, they're they're hard, and um, it's going to be a good challenge. I think it's exciting that uh, you know we're going to be in a new conference, um, 
and it's going to strive, make guys to, to do a little bit better, push themselves a little bit more, and um, you know make that jump into you know a, a top, an upper tier conference. No question, one of the top conferences. Arguments can be made depending on the year, uh, the top baseball conference. And but you have a head coach who's already coached in that conference. Do you think that will be helpful in the transition? I think so. It definitely helps. Anytime you have any experience. Um, even if it's just a little bit of a glimpse, um, anything gives you that little bit of edge to know what to expect to lessen the um, anxiety of, of what happens next, the unexpected. Um, and, and I think he's going to do a great job of guiding the team to, to where it needs to be and, and getting to that level and getting back to the College World Series and, and competing there you know, year in and year out. You'll be speaking to the choir, so to speak, tonight when you talk to the, the Meet the Team dinner. But when you talk to folks about uh, Notre Dame baseball, what do you talk about? What points do you try to make? Um, you know, like you said, it is easy coming back to speak uh, in Notre Dame because it's the, the history is so rich. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, just the the camaraderie that I experienced here with with you know my teammates and my friends on and off the field and um, what we've gone through you know that that kind of history that that really builds upon you know kind of that mystique of Notre Dame and and just how much fun it was and how much of a true pleasure it was to be here for four years. Aaron, thank you for the time. Thank you. With former Irish star and nine-year major league pitcher Aaron Heilman, I'm Jack Dolan, Fighting Irish Digital Media.